Bonjour à tous! Hello everybody! So, as you can tell from today's title, this video is not really about my study abroad experience and what I'm doing today. It's about my relationship with technology. That this is relevant with what I had to do today. Today I attempted to validate my email for the university here because we get one and with this one we can then access the Wi-Fi there which let's be real that's why I actually did it <laughs> but okay we're just gonna go run through this story really quickly basically what happened was I had a little information sheet and it said to basically go through all of the things and this is how you create your password, this is how you do the things, and the instructions were really good. It says, this is what your email will be, your first name, last name, at blah 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 blah. And then they're like, oh, this will be used to access your Wi-Fi, and this is all of the numbers you need to find. And I was sitting here like, okay, okay, this is in French, but this makes sense, okay. Okay, I think I can do this. Went to the website, and it was all pretty and it was fine. It was fine. Until it said I validated my email that it exists. I don't know how to get to this email. Gmail says it doesn't recognize it. I don't know what system it uses. I, I'm so confused. I don't understand. I don't know how to get to this email and actually respond to messages. I don't know how to add it to my email list thing since this will be like my fourth email that needed to be created. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I t Gmail doesn't recognize it and I don't understand. And this is just proof that this chick cannot technology. <laughs> oh, it's so bad for this day and age because everything is about technology and everything is about knowing your way around a computer. Everything is about your devices and knowing how to use them and how to access all of the things. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't go without an email these days. Can't do it. Can't do it. Not for work, not for school. I'm pretty sure I had an email set up by my high school. I didn't use it. I didn't know how it worked. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it existed. Oh man. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, this is another sad example. Uh, <laughs> I took a computer science class. Yeah, I have taken a computer science class. Did I fail the midterm? Yes. But I got a C plus in the class. <laughs> Okay, I walked into this class thinking I was going to learn how to use a computer properly. No. Uh, day one was introduction to Java. And we learned Java. Which apparently is no longer even something people should be learning. According to other more technologically savvy people than me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wound up getting it at the end, but now if you asked me to program something, I would look at you and go, <laughs> yeah, okay, no. <laughs> Pretty sure everything I learned in that class went, hasta la bye bye. <laughs> I, nope, nope. I have no idea. Nope. I mean, 
I was a junior in high school before I got a smartphone. Mostly because I didn't see the point. <laughs> and I liked the flippy. I liked that it flipped and I could move it and play with it. Because I'm very fidgety. I have ADHD. <laughs> I like to play with it. And then uh, the contract thing turned up and we got an upgrade or whatever, which basically meant you get smartphones. So I went to the flip phones when we walked into the store and dad said, no, over there. And I'm just like, but those are touchscreen ones. And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> and I went, okay. <laughs> I had to be told to get a smartphone. Not that I don't appreciate it now, because now I can read fanfiction on my phone, and I can Google things like directions, because I'm also crap at that. <laughs> but, oh man, basic technology I can work with. I'm not talking about technology as in light switches and stuff like that. I can work around my phone. I can make it function. Yeah. I don't do apps unless they're like puzzle games because I get obsessed. Like Sudoku. I am so obsessed with Sudoku. There's a little app on there and I think just for the easy one because they're so easy I get them done in under a minute. And it's just a little thing, I just do it, and it's done. It's addicting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do, I mean, I don't have any of the social media stuff. Don't have the Snapchat on my phone. None of the social media except for Facebook. And I don't even look at it all that often. <laughs> I'm just not the kind of person that will understand how machines work. I'm not really a machine type person. I guess you could call me an old soul. Um, I don't know. I, in a technological sense, yes I am. I asked for a typewriter for Christmas and that was the only thing I asked for. that would make me an old soul. I like the idea of writing letters. That's an old soul type thing. But I don't know. Old soul is just too hard for me to define and pin down. But in a technological sense, yes. I absolutely am. I prefer handwriting to typing notes. I prefer drawing on paper than doing it on a drawing tablet thing because I have a tablet in my room at home somewhere and it's got drawings on it. They're not good, but I have them. <laughs> I'd rather write my stories by hand. Um, senior year of high school, I wrote a story a two-part story and I wrote it by hand. It took about 30-35 loose-leaf sheets of wide rule paper. Yeah, and then I typed it. <laughs> That's the kind of old soul I am. That's the kind of bleh technology kind of person I am. Would I exist without YouTube? No. I don't think so. Would I exist without Facebook? Yes. Would I exist without t Twitter? Yes. Pinterest? Absolutely. Snapchat? I don't even have it. <laughs> I live without them now. Would I live without my laptop? Probably not. Um, but... That's mostly because technology requires that I use it. This modern society is so technologically dependent, it's kind of insane. Which is interesting. But 
I will let you all decide what you all think about technology and what bits and pieces of our old world we can keep or things we should bring up to date. For example, medicine. Medicine should absolutely be as far as we can technologically advance it. Until you start creating cyborgs. I'm not sure how I feel about cyborgs. They, they kind of creep me out. But I want to know what your opinion is. Leave a comment below and let's have a chat about the pros and cons of technology and why you think we're so dependent on it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see me upload a video every day, which I do, then hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified when I do make one, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Au revoir tout le monde. Bye everybody.